Tomb Raider is one of the best 3D platformers of all time. It took the world by storm when it was released during the 1996 holiday season, selling millions of units, and, despite first being released on Sega's 32-bit Saturn console, it would ultimately end up becoming recognised as one of the PlayStation's most significant games. Tomb Raider's development would begin at Core Design in 1994, and is said to have lasted around 18 months. Thankfully, several prototypes of the game have surfaced online over the years, giving us a unique opportunity to see how the game was developed. Today I'd like to check out the earliest playable version of Tomb Raider and see how it compares to the final game. I'd also like to show off some of the later prototypes to see how the game changed over the course of its development. What we've got right here is the very first ever playable version of the game from 1995, where it's in its pre-alpha stage. This tech demo essentially gives us one massive level to explore. The level is unique to this prototype and doesn't appear in any other known demo. Also, no music or sound effects exist yet. One of the first things you may notice when playing this demo is that Lara has her braid. Lara's braid can be seen in the final game's CG cutscenes, but was removed from gameplay as the programmer was said to have not been able to get it working in time. As you can see, the braid is quite glitchy here, often clipping into a backpack and it's rumoured that it would negatively affect the game's frame rate. Thus, the braid would end up getting cut and replaced, with Lara's hair being put into a bun. The braid would make its grand return in Tomb Raider 2, complete with its own impressive physics. Another cool thing about this demo is Lara's wearing her iconic round sunglasses during gameplay. These are seen during the opening cutscene of the game, but Lara removes them just before the player gains control. It seems as though the model here is very reminiscent of the one used in the final, with seemingly the only difference being her missing braid and sunglasses. Another thing to mention is that Lara's default weapons here aren't the pistols that you might expect. Here we see Lara using what would end up becoming the magnums in the final game. She's missing her pistols entirely. In fact, there are no other weapons in the game yet. In the final game, Lara will pull an angry face when firing her weapon. I thought this was a cool detail, but it isn't present in this demo version. From the moment that you take control of Lara, you can tell that her movement controls aren't quite right yet, and the more you play, it quickly becomes evident that Lara is missing a lot of her signature moves. It's hard to imagine a time where Lara didn't have her iconic moveset. Almost all of the moves that you may expect Lara to be able to do are not yet implemented. In fact, the mechanics of the game are yet to be finalised. For example, here Lara is able to walk off ledges using the walk button. This would end up being impossible to do in the final game. Also, there is no hop back action when pressing down on the D-pad. You're not even able to walk backwards at all. There's no sidestep yet either. In fact, Lara is unable to quick turn, hop back, step backwards, step to the side, backflip, side jump, handstand, look around, dive, or shimmy. And to top it off, she has no idle animation, so when you stop moving, Lara will remain completely still. Also, I've noticed that Lara can grab ledges from weird angles. In the final game, she will snap to a 90 degree angle when hanging on a ledge. So, what can you do in this pre-alpha build? Lara only has her basic abilities here. She's able to run, jump, grab ledges, and draw her guns. Almost all of her animations present here would end up getting reworked, however. When jumping, Lara will jump forward with a much more exaggerated animation, instead of jumping straight up like we used to. However, she will jump straight up when facing a wall. Perhaps my favourite feature of this prototype are the camera controls. Lara's ability to look around is not yet implemented, so we're given free reign over the camera. Using the keys Q and A, you can zoom in and out, S and W will move it up and down, and Z and X will move it left and right. You can also draw your weapons even after you die. You can only die from taking full damage. There is no health bar yet either.
There isn't much going on here in regards to enemies, but what we do have are a wolf and a bear. Both enemies would of course make their way to the final build, but the models here are very early as to be expected. The bear has some very primitive AI, where it essentially just runs forward until it touches a wall, only to bounce off in another direction, like a DVD screensaver. Also, the bear here is much smaller. It would be made much bigger and more imposing for the final. The wolf on the other hand has no AI, and will just stand there, still, forever. I think it actually looks quite similar to how it does in the final, but what do you think? One interesting thing in this prototype is how Lara will aim at both enemies at the same time. I really like this feature. It would have been cool to see this somehow implemented into the final game, or one of the sequels. Though, unfortunately, while Lara can equip her weapons in this demo, she's not yet able to shoot. Also of note is how her left hand is reserved for aiming at the wolf, and her right for the bear. Presumably, had they decided to keep this feature, this would have been ironed out and she'd have been a bit more free with her aim. I think it's also worth mentioning that in the files for the demo exist mentions of bats and snakes. While bats would make their way into the final game, snakes would not be seen until Tomb Raider 3. Unfortunately, not a lot more is known about them and I don't think any model data exists. The textures used here are very reminiscent of the ones used in the level City of Vilcabamba from the first section of the game, Peru. In fact, some of these textures did make it into the game, as we can see here. Another thing to mention here is the level geometry itself. It seems as though at this early stage they were experimenting with diagonal walls, although I don't think they were properly implemented as you can walk straight through them. This feature would have been nice to see finished and could have given the game's levels a more organic feel. Also missing from this tech demo are slopes that Lara slides down. There are no item pickups in the game yet either, such as med packs or ammo. The inventory screen has also not yet been implemented. But that's about all I can say about this fascinating pre-alpha build. Admittedly there's not much to see yet, but that's understandable with it being such an early demo. Even here I think the game shows a lot of promise, despite being a long way off from completion. I hope you've enjoyed looking into this game as much as I have. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. No.